What's up everyone? John Renton from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. If the regular Galaxy S3 was too big and too powerful for you, I got its smaller, less horsepower packing cousin right here. Let's go ahead, open it up, see how it performs. Alright, so here is the box to the Galaxy S3 Mini. It looks very similar to the unlocked box that we saw for the Galaxy S3. It tells you all the specs on it, but of course we're going to run all that business down for you so we can ignore them for now. Uh, this guy was sent to us courtesy of our friends at Negri Electronics. Link will be down below uh, if you want to check them out. A great place to go to get all of your uh, unlocked cell phones and tablets. So I'll go ahead and use our Buffalo knife and we will gingerly cut the plastic. And we'll see what this looks like. I have not seen one of these in person, so I really have no idea uh, what to expect. It's not a phone that you really see that uh, often here in the U.S. I know some carriers uh, in Europe and other parts of the world have picked it up. So there is the Galaxy S3 Mini, and it looks like a mini Galaxy S3, which I suppose is appropriate. I'll go ahead and lift up the tab. Phone is sitting in a tray. Push it off to the side for just a quick moment. Dual-core CPU. See so what else we're going to have in the box. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that properly. Uh, we've got some earbuds for different sizes of ears. We've got the earbuds that go with it, or the adapters rather, that go with it, uh, with inline mic. We've got the micro USB charger, and that is, yeah, it's a, uh, the US charger, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then we've got sinking cable and the battery, which is of size 1500 milliamp hours. So let's go ahead and push all that off to the side for just a moment. Let's take a look at the phone itself. So I'll go ahead and gingerly peel off all the plastic bits and pieces. I can tell you what you can expect. So it is a super AMOLED screen at the resolution of, it's not a bust in resolution or anything, uh, 800 by 480. The phone feels really small and really just feels like a mini Galaxy S3. Uh, running Android 4.1, it's got a dual core 1 gigahertz uh, CPU in it. Giga RAM, either get in 8 or 16 configurations, but it's got external storage. On the back, we've got a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and of course that LED flash. Uh, VGA, little job, lives there on the front. Uh, this is an HSPA Plus phone, the 14.4, so you should get pretty fast speeds uh, if you are in an HSPA network. Uh, and the bands are 900, 1900, and 2100, in case you're wondering. Uh, Wi-Fi 802.11 BGNN, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, it's got NFC in it. So the height, we've got 4.8 inches, 2.5 inches by 0.39 inches. So it's not giant, and of course that is a four inch diagonal screen. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the battery and take a quick tour of the phone. All right, so we got the Galaxy S3 Mini all powered up, and it feels super mini on the hand. I used to seeing Samsung phones with much larger screens, uh, but it is pretty much touch whiz and all of its touch whizzy glory. Uh, let's see what we're gonna get here in the app stuff. All the Samsung add-ons you'd expect, chat on. Uh, Chrome is your default browser. Go ahead and continue to scroll through. Uh, nothing overly exciting there. Take a look at the widgets, and it's going to be the standard Android widgets with some of the uh, fun Samsung add-ons there. Uh, you can see what they are. Uh, no S Pen action here. You don't have any sort of the multi-window stuff you get with some of the uh, top-tier Samsung phones. Uh, it's the bare-bones touch whiz, but it does work pretty well. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the settings, and we'll see what else we're going to have here. We'll go back to apps, and let's try and find settings. You can see all the stuff the phone's got on it, so you have to take my word for it. Scroll down to the bottom. We'll go about device. And here is all the goodness. So it is Android 4.1.1, and there's a model number, the GT18190L. Let's do a quick tour of the phone. So we got a physical home button right there. We got capacitive, back buttons, and menu buttons. And if you want to multitask uh, on Samsung phones, you just hold down uh, the main home button. Uh, if we continue the tour on the left-hand side, you've got volume rocker up and down. Uh, nothing else on the right-hand side, power and lock button, noise canceling mic, and the micro USB charging port on there. And on the top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Uh, if you want to access the SD card slot or the micro SD card slot, that's going to live under the 1500 milliamp hour battery. So don't be fooled by this phone not having top tier specs. Uh, it's still a dual core phone, which is very capable. So looking for something that's just going to work well for a couple years. You don't need crazy power. You, know, you play some games or watch some movies. It's going to be a pretty good phone for you. 
Uh, so let me go ahead and do a quick size comparison uh, with some other phones. It's funny to look at a Samsung phone that's four inches and think it feels small when you bring a device like the iPhone 5 uh, that has the same screen size. Certainly it's a much taller phone, but if I go ahead and turn this on, you can see Lucy right there and the screen sizes are exactly the same. Uh, bringing in its big brother and cousin, here is the regular in Galaxy S3. You can see the size comparison there. Then if we bring in just the giant big daddy, uh, here is the Galaxy Note 2, and you can see the size difference between all of those guys as well. So this guy is a very small, uh, pretty useful phone. So who is this phone going to be for? And I really been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm gonna draw on the table, cause that, that's kind of fun. If you don't need power, but just want a phone that's going to work and work pretty well for you, uh, the Galaxy S3 Mini is gonna do it. It feels really good in the hand. Uh, it's light, uh, it's gonna fit in your pocket, and it's gonna work for the next few years. If you're getting it unlocked, you're not gonna be tethered. If you're getting it unlocked, you're not gonna be tethered to a two-year contract. Uh, so if you want to keep this phone for a year or so, uh, it's gonna be a pretty good option. Uh, I want to thank our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with yet another awesome phone. Link down below if you want to check them out. Uh, and if you want to draw on tables and stuff, just because I kind of liked it. Uh, this is something called uh, Idea Paint. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I am John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Sweet.